Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In this video session, I'm going to explain about a flowchart algorithm and pseudocode. What is a pseudocode? To represent a computer algorithm using a combination of natural language and programming language is called a pseudocode. These are the common pseudocode notations. Input used to take the value from the user. Output show the result. If then else take a selection of the choices for that is a counter loop while that is a conditional loop and top testing loop. Repeat until a loop that has a condition at the end. I have given an example about how to find the largest number among of three numbers. First of all, I will use a start symbol and then I will take three input and these input will be stored into variable a b and c after this i will check that if a is greater than b this is a selection symbol or decision symbol where you have to decide and what i am going to decide here if a greater than b if it is yes then it will check it again if a greater than c if it is yes then it will display the value of a into variable largest and in case of no if a is greater than c if this condition will false then it will assign the value of c to the variable largest and if we will go to the condition if a greater than b if it will not true then it will check another condition inside the inside if there is another condition that is if b greater than c if this condition will be true then it will assign la largest will get the value from b and if this condition will false then largest will get the value c and then after this it will print the largest value and this largest variable maybe we'll get the value from a b and c anyone i have written an algorithm input a comma b and c if a greater than b then there is another if condition if a greater than c then it will assign a value of a to the largest variable else if a is not greater than c then largest will get value from c and if the first condition will false that is a greater than b if it is false then it will move to line number eight else and then it will check another nested if condition if b greater than c then largest will get value from b else largest will get value from c for example i have uh, given a value of a that is 5 value of b is 10 value of c is 15 and then it will check that if a greater than b value of a is 5 and value of b is 10 5 is greater than 10 it will false 5 is not greater than 10 then it will move to the line number 8 that is else and then next statement is again nested if else okay and a greater than c will be ignored because that whole part will be skipped from line number three to line number six seven it will be skipped then it will check that if b greater than c value of b is 10 and value of c is 15 b is greater than 15 then b is greater than c that is not greater it means this is false and in this case it will move to the else part that is on line number 11 and line number 12 a statement is there largest will get value from c okay it means largest will get value 15 another example value of a is 50 value of b is 30 value of c is 10 and then it will check 50 is greater than 30 that is true and then it will check another condition 50 is greater than 10 yes it is true and then b greater than c condition will be ignored because it is written on line number nine okay now the this time our control is on line number four that is largest will get value from a and in this case largest will get value 50. 
Another example A is 20, B is 60, and C is 25. Then it will check 20 is greater than 60. False. And in case of false, line number 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 will be skipped and control will move to the line number 9. That is else part. If B greater than C, value of B is 60, greater than 25, yes. In case of yes or in case of true, it will move to line number 10. That is largest will get value B and in this case largest is largest will get the value 60. Thanks students. If you have any question, you can write in comment. I will give you the answer of your all comments. Thank you. Jazakallah khair.